My name is Dwight Goins and welcome to this next series of videos dealing with the Connect Mini Blogs. In this video, we're going to talk about Connect Studio version 2.0, where we're going to explain how the Connect Studio works and allows you as a developer or a tester or a hobbyist and enthusiast for Connect technologies to be able to test your Connect applications. So let's get started with a demo of a Connect application and then we'll talk about how you can test it and how you can utilize the Connect Studio to uh, interact and connect to your custom application and see what it all entails. So here I have a custom application. I have two forms of it. I have one form that actually has the color um, associated with it and what this application does is it simply allows you to recognize a person and uh, lift your left hand or right hand above your head and it displays that information out to a window. The one without color allows you to uh, lift your left hand and right hand above your head but it does not have the color stream turned on um, and actually doesn't show the person video in the actual application. So in order to work with this any type of connect application for this first version of the this um, preview release version of the connect device um, you need to first start the connect service. So the way you start the connect service is hit your start button, type in connect service here, this app here, and that goes ahead and starts this application if you have a connect device connected. So once the connect device is connected and the service is started, we can start our custom application. And there we have it. So now first thing I want to do is raise my left hand above my head. Voila, hey, left hand above my head. Then I want to raise my right hand above my head. Voila, right hand above my head. So if I raise both hands above my head, hey, ho, oh, both hands above my head. A very simple application. I'll go ahead and stop the application and show you the same thing with the application running without color. So same application, but this time no video color, no video stream, no color stream turned on. Left hand above my head, right hand above my head, both hands above my head. Simple application. So now, as a developer of this application, we want to we might want to utilize the Connect Studio version 2 to be able to test this application to make sure that the the application is working the way we want to. Maybe we want to automate this process in the future such that we can build unit tests on it or have another developer work on it and add more features to it. Maybe lifting the left leg and right leg or something above their head if they can do that. Um, so let's get started with starting the Connect Studio host. So the way this works is, is the first thing you need to do is start up the Connect uh, Studio application or Connect Studio Service Host application. So let's start the Connect Studio Service Host application. So I'm going to type in Case Studio, and you'll notice we have two applications: the actual Connect Studio uh, WPF app and the actual Studio Service Host. So we'll go ahead and start up the whole service here, and then I'll go ahead and type in Case Studio to get to my Connect Studio application. And what you'll notice here is that this application loads up, which allows me to interact with different aspects of the Connect device. Now, because I have the Connect Studio host service turned on, I have the ability of connecting to um, a, a replica of the Connect device, or I can connect to the live Connect device itself. So before we connect to the, the replica, let's actually connect to the live device itself and turn on my application and then record the data that I'm working with. So again, make sure your connect service is started. Make sure your connect device is plugged in. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on the little green lightning bolt here to connect to that live feed. So notice now I'm actually running a live feed, but it's going through the connect studio application. Notice here in the Connect Studio application, I can come over here and choose different uh, body depth. I can choose a body orientation. You'll see little arrows point up here. You can barely see it here, but it's like right here. You see these little arrows pointing up that shows my bone rotation. I could choose to use uh, a different uh, point cloud. I can use a gray point cloud here. You see the floor plane. I could choose different uh, views. I can choose the view from the Connect Vistrum. I can also choose uh, to use a this weird funky surface point cloud. Yeah. And let's see what else can we do here. A texture surface. I choose the infrared. Kind of spooky on this view, right? 
I can also choose the 2D view model. See my joint skeletons. And so the cool thing about this is that as you select these different options, you can come over here and you can see different pixel values as you, you know, move your mouse along uh, the screen here. You can see different infrared values for the infrared intensity values for a particular pixel that you might have selected. Another thing you could do down here at the bottom of Connect Studio is you could choose which one of these feeds of data that you might want to record. So maybe you want to record the infrared feed. Maybe you want to record the uh, the depth feed. Now the color feed right now, I don't think uh, there's an option here to select for the, oh there's the color settings. Oh no, these are settings. Oh yeah, there's the new color, sorry. And so on and so forth. All right, so with this connected, I can turn my application on. So let's go back to the Connect Studio app. And there we go again. And let's actually start recording what I've done here. So here I can turn off the NUI system info and some other feeds that I don't need for my application. And by clicking on those, that opens up my record button here. And I can start my application. And then start recording. As I interact with the application, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, and I'll stop the recording in Connect Studio. And I'll come back to my application. I'll stop my application. And what you'll notice here is um, the recording will actually save to a library. Um, the library I have set up here is the Clips library can, that's found in my favorites here. So these are all the files that got saved, and here's a file here that I can replay back, and so on and so forth. So let's um, stop everything. Let's disconnect for a second, and let's shut everything down. I'm going to shut down the connect host and shut down the connect service. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on the device manager here. So as you can see that I actually have a connect sensor device plugged in here and I'm going to unplug it. So as you can see there's no connect device. I've unplugged the device here. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to start the connect studio host application. So I'll go case studio. And then I want to uh, again connect to case studio. And notice as I'm connected to Case Studio, I can still open files from the repository. But if I'm not connected to Case Studio, all I can do is open the physical file. So uh, that's a major difference there, understanding the difference between connecting to the, the host service versus just connecting to the Case Studio uh, WPF app. So if I open up a file, I can always open up any file that I've saved out and I can play it back. So notice here, once I have that, cool thing is, is I can drag this around a little bit, give a nice little 3D feel of the environment that I worked in. I can click on different frames here, catch a frame with my hand up, both hands up. I can switch this to infrared mode and figure out what the infrared intensity values are of my hand of a particular pixel.